In this lesson, we will define genetic drift and two types of genetic drift, the bottleneck effect and the founder effect. First, what is genetic drift? And what does it have to do with evolutionary theory? Well, first, to study evolutionary mechanisms, it is important to investigate population genetics. Population genetics is the study of genes within populations. Easy. Well, genetic drift is the random change in frequency of alleles or a population's gene pool just by chance. If you could recall, alleles are simply the different versions of a trait in your DNA on homologous chromosomes. So this could be for eye color, hair color, height, um, etc. Genetic drift or this random change in allele frequency occurs because by the law of independent assortment, alleles are sorted independent of one another during meiosis and therefore passed on to different offspring by chance. Genetic drift, or the fact that these allele frequencies can change, can be either good or bad for the population and is one way that a population can evolve either becoming a new species or becoming extinct. Let's take a look at the two major examples of genetic drift. One is called the founder effect, and one is called the bottleneck effect. Let's start with the founder effect. The founder effect is usually exemplified in populations that are separated from the rest of their group. Like, for instance, in islands, uh, more often than not, on islands or in uh, maybe a separate community that exists within the land. And this occurs when new species result from a few founders of the original population. So this guy, this little beetle explorer here, ends up on an island isolated from the rest of its original community, and after many, many generations later, lots of time, um, these, uh, this population of beetles looks distinctly different um, and perhaps develops into a, a new species because it's unable to reproduce with, with you know, its counterparts on the mainland. So the original founders in the founder effect okay, bring the ancestral genes over to um, this population here and therefore it has grown very different over time. So that's the founder effect. What's the bottleneck effect? Bottleneck effect um, occurs when a very large population like buffalo or cheetahs, um, here are these pygmies, uh, they get reduced. So we sort of take a look at the bottle neck here. There's some act that occurs here in the environment that might kill off um, or separate uh, these, this population from the original ancestral population. And once a ton of these um, uh, organisms are killed off, the gene pool is, is reduced to maybe a few different allele combinations. And they might be in different, um, different proportions. I'm going to put proportion change. Uh, there's a proportion change in these allele frequencies that ultimately will lead to the evolution of perhaps a new species because if the only thing that makes it through perhaps are like these little bees, okay, um, maybe standing for short, shorter legs or something like that, if these are the only ones that make it through this bottleneck, then this new population is going to have a much greater frequency or proportion of these little bees than it did exist in this much larger population. Um, eventually, due to the bottleneck effect, um, you know, this population may rise again and thrive again, but its new population may look very different from its ancestors.